and I'm going to ask questions that are so important that the answers to them I can't turn away from, and I'm going to develop a clinical exam where I find have findings that are so important I can't turn away from them, you will hit road bumps. You'll hit, uh, well, I call them speed bumps, where if if you haven't identified ways to overcome that, and that's usually through ongoing training in your in your staff, whether it's a weekly training, a monthly training, or quarterly training, and it probably should be some combination of all of those things, and you don't have reachable goals, measurable go goals, then often that pillar will fail. So you're gonna have to say, okay, we're gonna fail on these things, but we're gonna readdress them on some interval, one week, one month, three months, and we're going to continue to touch this and we're going to do nothing but work on this pillar for 90 days. And the 90 days we're going to reflect and say, okay, how do we do? Can we actually refine that pillar in 90 days? Or have we, have we perfected it and we can move on to the next one? So I think the bottom line is when you are building a pillar, think about a disease state, think about owning that pillar and making it so important in your practice that you're not going to allow patients to walk out of your comprehensive exams who have that disease state unidentified.